Hey guys, the Drama Invasion here and welcome back to a new video. As usual, we have a couple of new dramas that dropped, new announcements, and lots of rumors of dramas that will air in the upcoming season. As well as the top 5 highest rated Doban dramas which I'll leave till the end. But let's just jump on into it. First off is Amazing Sisters. This aired unexpectedly on Mango TV. It has 20 episodes and it's a historical romance drama. It tells a story about the Chan's family, the richest family in the capital, which is known for the five daughters. And these five sisters are called the Chan's Five Beauties. This stars newer faces Liu Mei Tong and Wen Li. There hasn't been any buzz about this drama since it's so unexpected and the cast is quite new so we'll have to see but also because it's Mango TV which means you have to wait a while like a month or two until English subtitles come out so keep that in mind if you want to watch it. Also I apologize in advance if some other dramas dropped that I haven't mentioned it like on the 20th 21st. These are just the dramas that were announced on the 20th which is the day that I'm filming this. I usually film these a couple days earlier so I can do like school and work and other things. But if there's any big dramas that do drop that I don't cover in this episode I'll definitely cover in the next one. Aichi announced that See You Again a drama about a man returning to society after 20 years of prison with only one kind policeman visiting him throughout those years. This is a life Republican drama starring Lee Guangjia, Jiang Xin, and Hu Jun. This airs on September 21st as a part of the Light On series. I think the biggest drama that's on this list right now is A Female Student Arrives at the Imperial College. This is Zhao Lu Su's comeback in the historical rom-com drama genre. Zhao Lu Su and Shu Kai Cheng are the leads. And this drama has 30 episodes. It will be airing on Tencent Video and Yuku, which means that we're probably getting subtitles fairly soon. This is a story about the only daughter of a marshal who becomes the only female student at the Imperial College due to a gamble. She ends up meeting a number of young masters she forms friendships. Of course, there's going to be, I think, there's going to be a love triangle or maybe multiple. But this just looks like every historical rom-com done right. Of course, we have to wait and see if the script is cringy or if it's good. And hopefully it's on the good side because Mr. Ling, that drama, um, her modern dramas just kind of let me down except for Dating in the Kitchen. And honestly, this type of drama has like a cliche plot. I think a lot of dramas attempted to do it, but I couldn't get into it. So hopefully this will be the one for me and I'm excited. As for drama wrap-ups, we have two dramas. The first is a Republican romance drama starring Hu Yitian and Zhang Ronan. This drama is called A Storm of Wind and Cloud. It is a Mango TV production. It's about university students that are together in troubled times. The next drama that just recently wrapped up filming is called Daybreaker. This one has 24 episodes. It's a thriller mystery crime investigation drama starring Li Yifeng and Song Yi. This is also a part of the I Chi Yi Light On series. Fun fact, the director of this series is actually the same one for Ping Pong Life and Evil Minds. Those dramas has been praised for the realisticness of it and the portrayal of psychology. So this one should be a really good one to look forward to. It's about an anti-narcotics policeman who died undercover five years ago. Well, actually everyone thinks he dies. But in fact, I think five years later he comes back and he changes his name and pretends to be himself and goes undercover dealing with his former lover, brother, and enemies. So basically he's kind of a lone wolf on this while everyone else is out there and he wants to take this organization down on his own. A little intermission between the next news which is all full of dramas and drama names, lots of information that I'm throwing at you. Don't worry they're all listed in the description box so all the names and titles. So if you want to search it up you can do that afterwards. But yeah, let's talk about Lu Han and Guan Xiaotong and their strong relationship. So for four years in a row, with their relationship out in the public, Lu Han wishes his girlfriend Guan Xiaotong a happy birthday at midnight on the dot. 
a lot of netizens are really surprised to see them still together after so much time and i just feel like they were just low-key so the only time when they really post is on each other's birthdays as you can tell with the past few years but they're quite a low-key couple I think Guan Xiaotang turns 24 this year, so congratulations to the happy couple and happy birthday to her, or belated birthday. Back to the drama news, we have a new Aichi modern female-centric drama called Viva Femina. This is a drama starring Yin Tao and Jasper Liu. No summary on this yet, but with the genre, I can probably tell that it's going to be business-related in the workplace, with um, female-centric characters. WeTV announced that they have a couple of Thai remakes that they've been working on and that some of them will be airing soon. There's no official air date yet, but they did announce the cast and also gave us some posters or a sneak peek into the dramas. The first one is Put Your Head on My Shoulder which will have 20 episodes starring Nu Thita Pum and Kaimuk Nilawan. I know that we don't talk too much about Thai dramas on this. I used to make like one or two videos about it since I watch like all types of dramas, but now my content is mainly C dramas related. But I still wanted to talk about it because it is airing on a Chinese platform and it's based off of Chinese or Taiwanese dramas. Put Your Head on My Shoulder is a cute campus romance. While the other one they announced is called My Lucky Star, it actually says that it's a GMM1 drama. So that's a Thai production company. So not really Tencent or anything, but perhaps they'll have airing rights on it and then they'll announce that later on. There wasn't a poster for this one, but there was an official cast announcement and I think a little bit of a teaser. This stars film Thanapat and B. Fern and Chasa. The original Taiwanese story aired in 2007 and I honestly remember watching this to like episode 3 or something and falling in love with it. I was obsessed with this and then I couldn't find any subtitles for years and years and then I kind of just dropped it. But I'm really happy that they announced this because as much as I do want to go back and relive my childhood, I don't think I can deal with the hairstyle and everything. Um, back in the day, you know, the equipment wasn't right, the budget wasn't great either, but the storylines were really good though. So I'm happy that we're getting a remake. Um, this is about a girl who basically cries wolf a lot. She lies a lot. She's like a scammer. One of those people that lies her ways out of things like way too many times so no one believes her when she's actually telling the truth unfortunately but she bumps into a runaway ceo i think of a jewelry empire and he actually believes in her he actually sees how talented she is and encourages her to become a jewelry designer i remember there's a lot of bantering a lot of back and forth and funny moments so it's like a bit of a rom-com but also like heartwarming moments too on to the two biggest rumors we have the first one with dilraba and zhang yixing or lei who will be starring in a drama called ball lightning apparently this is an s plus project it's an ite Project and S Plus is basically one of those top tiers dramas that people put a lot of money in. Those investors really want to make this the next big thing. For example, I think they're trying to experiment and branch out with the sci-fi mystery genre. And this is going to be a sci-fi mystery. It's going to be on Aichi, which is a platform that's known for more experimental projects. So it really makes sense. Nothing is confirmed yet. But based on these rumors, the drama will start um, filming in December 2021. The next rumor is Sword Snow Stride starring Sang Ro Yoon and Lee Gang Shi. This is rumored to be broadcast near the end of November on Tencent. And this is a drama that's been shelved for a while now, but Zhang Ro Yoon, he's been getting popular, especially last year's Joy of Life. As you know, it makes a lot of sense since Joy of Life is probably going to air in 2022 or at the end of 2022. So there seems to be more interest in his dramas now and they're slowly coming off the shelves. Last but not least is the top five dramas on Doban. These are the highest rated dramas from August 2021 to early mid-September. 
Doban is known to be a little bit more critical of their dramas and average drama rates for them is like around a six or a seven. So anything that gets a seven is like a lot of people are like, wow, on this drama. So to put it in perspective, we have one and only, which is sixth place. This drama scored 7.3 on Doban. It's a romance historical drama starring Alan Ren and Bai Lu. Next is Crime Crackdown. It's a suspense police drama starring Sun Hong Lei, Lei Zhang, and Liu Yi Jun. This is fifth place and has a 7.5 rating. Fourth place is Stealth Walker with Zhang Ye Cheng and Lin Peng. This is a thriller, mystery, romance, crime drama. It got a 7.6 on Doban. Next is The Ideal City in third place, which also got a 7.6. This is a workplace romance lifestyle drama starring Mark Chow and Sun Li. The Warm Valley is in second place. It got 7.9. This is part of the Candle in the Tomb series. It's an action, adventure, mystery, horror, tomb raiding drama starring Pan Yue Ming and Zhang Yuqi. Last but not least, in first place is The Bond starring Bai Yu and Mao Xiaotong. Lots of other actors, about five siblings. It's a family life drama and it got 8.2 on Doban. And that is it for today's video. What are your thoughts on these dramas? Are you shocked that some of your favorite dramas didn't show up? And what are your thoughts about the upcoming Thai remakes? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification bells to all. And also, if you want, you can buy me a Kofi. Um, links in the description box below. Names all listed in the description box. Everything you need is in the description box below, honestly. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.